Hello sellers, in this video, we will get to know what is Big Seller Push Inventory feature and how you can use this feature to help you manage your stock. The Push Inventory feature in Big Seller can help you painlessly manage your stock across multiple stores and warehouses. For example, when both stores, Store A and Store B, sell the same product, Product 1, then when one store sold Product 1, the stock in both stores will be detected. Previously, in our last video, we've been through the four ways of creating merchant SKUs, and now the next three steps of the push inventory function would be... Next, I will guide you through these three steps in detail. And first, let's look at how to map merchant SKUs with store SKUs. Merchant SKUs need to be mapped with store SKUs so Big Seller will know which merchant SKU corresponds to which product. Now let's go to Inventory. Move your mouse to Inventory and click on Merchant SKU. The first way is that we can add mapping store SKU one by one by simply click on the Edit button. And then scroll down and click Add Mapping Store SKU. And then you can choose the platform, Shopee, Lazada, and so on. and also choose the stores and here to select if the store has KU has been mapped or not you can choose all or no mapping and you can also input an SKU name and search for it here we can scroll down to find a store SKU and click it on the right part you can see here are several store SKUs which have been mapped with merchant SKU and you can click this figure to remove the relationship and after all this is done click confirm and then click save and the mapping relationship of the store SKU and merchant SKU has been created here the first one. You can also add in bulk. Also go to Inventory, Merchant SKU, and then move the mouse to Import and Export, and click Map Store SKU, and here download a template. Then open the file, and fill in the Merchant SKU name, Store Nickname, and Store SKU name. Here please note, the store nickname needs to be the nickname in Big Seller. You can find it in Setting and Authorization. And here, the store nickname. If you want to map two or more store SKUs to one merchant SKU, just fill in the column with the same merchant SKU and another store SKU. For example, here we have the merchant SKU and store SKU. We just need to fill in another store SKU. For example, this one. And then after finished, save the file. Then come back to the inventory merchant SKU page and move the mouse to import and export and click map store SKU and then click here to upload. To upload the file we have just finished. And then click confirm and the mapping relations will be uploaded. When finished, then it comes to add inventory push rule by setting an inventory push rule, Big Seller will know how to auto push the stock across multiple stores if the stock of a merchant SKU changes. First, let's go to inventory and click push rules and click add push rule. Then enter a push rule name and select Merchant SKU, you will like to push the inventory under this rule. And then enter the push quantity. 
Here you can choose to push real stock or partial stock or virtual stock to the stores. For example, if you want to push the real stock, here enter 100 and then 0. If you want to push partial stock, you can set total available stock and then here enter 80 and 0. If you want to push a virtual stock, you can set total available stock 100. And then here you can enter 200. Or you can put it this way. Here input 150 and here input 0. Then select a warehouse. Here you can select multiple warehouses to push. For example, select warehouse 22 and also warehouse A. Then the system will push the available stock in both warehouse 22 and warehouse A. And then select stores. You can select all stores or some stores. If you select all stores, when there is a new store, it will be auto-added to the push rule. So there will be no need to add it manually. If you choose some stores, then select the stores you want to push. Here we choose all stores. And then you can turn on this button if you would like to set the stock threshold. This is optional. You can set it to avoid overselling caused by many orders in a short period of time. For example, input 10 here. And when the available stock is lower than 10, the stock will be pushed to 0. And here you can also choose a store to exclude a particular store. For example, this one. And set a further quantity. Then when finished, click the Save button to save the push rule. You can choose only save, not push, or save and push immediately. Here we click save and push immediately. And then you can find it here. Our rule test 07. And if you don't need to push the inventory, you can turn off this button. And also, if you have modified the rule, you can click the push now button to push now. And here is the operation log. You can click it to view the log. Here, by clicking this button, you can also select one or several SKU to push manually. For example, we can choose this one and then confirm. And this SKU will be pushed. Then the step 3 is to turn on the inventory features. Let's go to Setting and click Inventory Settings. And then click here to turn on the inventory features. You can only use the push inventory feature when the inventory feature switch is on. Then after all the above steps, we can go back to push inventory. Select a rule and click push now. And this will trigger the inventory push process immediately. Then you can wait and check if your store product stock has been updated. You can also check the inventory push records. You can find it here. So after the three steps plus creating merchant SKUs we've been through in our last video, now your push inventory journey has well completed. Hope you have enjoyed this journey and continue to enjoy it in future time by using this feature. If you haven't known how to create merchant SKUs, this video will guide you through this process. Okay, so see you soon next time. Bye!